What's up guys, it is me the Don Fanatic and welcome back to another one of my Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battles. Today I have the very special battle which you've probably all seen um, on Fufu's channel and on our Chisels channel. This is my Pokemon X and Y PU tournament held by Fufu and Pokemon. Uh, it is the final of the Kalos bracket and this was uh, the decider, one, who won that bracket, and two, who got to represent Fu in the grand finale of the tournament, which is on Monday night, by the way, guys. It'll be on, it'll be on Showdown, so you can watch on Showdown, or you can watch on Twitch, because it will be streamed. Anyway, um, our Chisel scouted my team hard, because I've carried the same team throughout the whole thing, and I do bring the same team to this battle. He's bought a different team every time, so it's pretty much impossible for me to do the same. Not that I was going to anyway. Here's a Swalop, a Huntail, an Ordino. Stunfisk, a Mr. Mime, and a Sneasel, all of which are massive pain in the asses in PU, and I was not looking forward to this battle as soon as I saw his team. Beforehand, I was I was really excited for it, but seeing his team, I know Ordino and Stunfisk and Swalot could be real pains to take out. Um, luckily, as you see, I do manage some of them, some of them not so well. Anyway, I start with Singapore, knowing I can hit anything hard. Um, starting off and he does start off with the Sneasel so I can give the Focus Blast he brings in Ordino probably expecting me to do something like a Hydro Pump because it probably would take out Sneasel um, if he hasn't got any investment as such um, I did go for the Focus Blast though because it's quite effective and it hits Ordino for massive damage so with that I should have taken Ordino down a lot quicker than I do because it was at such low health I could have bought something into Revenge Killer but I don't anyway he brings in Stunfisk and I switch out because he's gonna wanna well I don't know I don't wanna get attacked by uh, Mr. Mime so I wanna preserve my Simiport, and I do swap out into my Porygon, expecting him to want to stay in with his Mr. Mime, but he pulls the triple switch, I think it was, and he does go for the Toxic, and I go for the Magic Coat. Now here, this turn, I don't go for the Magic Coat again, expecting him not to want to go for his Stealth Rocks, because I do have the Magic Coat, and I've revealed that. I also carry Stealth Rocks on my Torterra, so it's not really too bad. I probably should consider running, just flat out running Toxic on this thing, that really could help. But um, yeah, I go for the tri attack again because I know I can do some good damage. Now he's toxic, and uh, he might be specially defensive, but tri attack's going to do all right. It's stab and quite a high base power attack, so it's going to do some damage to any uh, uh, anything really on his team. Um, I bring in my magma here. That was not a prediction at all. That was luck more than anything. Here we go for the flamethrower. It does about a half. Well, in my mind, it does about a half, and um, I go for the flamethrower. I'm not trying to bait him to bring in his sneasel, thinking I'm going to go for a psychic on the next turn. That's what he thought I was doing. I do have the flamethrower because I think it's going to kill the Swalot again. So I, I could have even gone for the overheat. So yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. Looking at this turn, he can just bring a Mr. Mime Revenge, kill me quite easily. But um, he just takes me out of the Psychic. So I could have actually just gone for the overheat and that would have definitely killed Swalot from that range of health. So yeah, he shouldn't have really brought Sneasel in at that point. Anyway, um, I bring in Sneasel now knowing he is a uh, choice and I can go for a knockoff and hit any item off any Pokemon I want. He could have actually stayed in and uh, let me knock off. But he probably wanted to preserve it because you'll find out he carries the trick and he can choice scarf one of my walls, which could be really annoying. Uh, he brings in his Stunfisk though, has the chance to get two statics off, and he doesn't, he doesn't get it on either turn. Here we go, get the critical hit on knockoff, which probably mad because he told or he has mentioned that his um Swallop was carrying sticky hole, which means he can't knock off the item, which means I think knockoff does not get the boost. So anyway, in comes Mr. Mime, and I don't want my Porygon being tricked. I was because he was choice scarfed, I was kind of thinking he probably is gonna carry the trick because he could cripple a wall quite easily with that so I bring in my Torterra because this thing is probably gonna be the least the most expendable thing to me I've taken down his Swallow and I've taken down his Stunfisk and I've taken down his um, Sneasel at this point and Sneasel was the main like sort of threat on his team and it could take out Torterra quite easily so now I'm thinking I probably don't need Torterra that much I do switch into Sneasel expecting him to go for the sidekick again, but he goes for the Dash and Gleam. That's probably a pretty obvious play, but obviously he had the balls to do it, and well done, our Chisel, for doing that. So uh, he's kind of sitting here poisoned. I don't know why I went for the Toxic with my Torterra all in turn to go, because he has got a Cleric on his team in Ordino, which you can bring in here because he's got a really safe switch. Although I did forget completely, he actually gets the regenerate ability. I, I didn't think about that on Ordino, thinking about it now, because its health has just gone skyrocketed back up from the first turn when I got the Focus Blast on it. But now he has the wish, and this this is where it gets annoying. I was hoping he wouldn't have the protect, and he was bluffing it, and I could probably take him out of another seed bomb, which I don't. And he protects and gets all his health back. So we're back to square one again from a few turns ago, and this this 
carries on for a few turns, and it also, well, it doesn't happen later on in the battle, but there's more sort of stalling later on in the battle, and this is why I've had to speed this battle up a lot, because it's, it does get a bit stally in places, but necessarily stalling. So um, I bring in my um, Porygon and trace the regenerate, and then just switch back out again for no apparent reason. Um, he does go for the heal bell after I toxic him. No, it was toxic on down to clown. This is probably where I toxic him again. Probably in hindsight, I don't know. I could have gone for rocks, I guess, but that wouldn't really benefit me because he only has three Pokemon left, I think. So um, yeah, I guess toxic was the only thing I could have done. I could have leech seeded. Actually, that would have been really good. It would have made him switch, and I could have just stayed in and continuously leech seeded stuff and got my health back. That would have been nice, actually, but you know what? It didn't occur to me at this point. So I trace his regenerate again with my Porygon. I don't know why. I guess I thought it would be a free switch, expecting him to want to go for the heal bell, which he does do. He gets the toxic off himself, and he's at full health, and this is just starting to really annoy me now. So he goes for the wish, and I go for the Thunder Wave, expecting him to want to switch at this point, because he's at full health. I don't know what his Ordino can do, so I have Thunder Wave him, and I now think he's going to go for the heal bell again. And uh, this lets me have a free switch into my semi port, but he goes straight for the double edge, which does um, decent damage to Kong, considering. Well, I don't know how powerful Ordino is, but double edge is powerful. We gave the Hydro Bump here, I over predict, expecting to bring in his Mr. Mime, and this starts to put me in a bit of a hairy situation. Because, um, well, I only have one attacking Pokemon left, and my, one of my walls has got a Choice Scarf, so Captain Brave Bird has been so good to me in the past, I needed it to be good for me again. So I go for the Brave Bird, and I get the critical hit. Because I'm choice banded, I'm pretty sure it didn't matter. But the critical hit did cover up the fact that Archie is always unsure as to whether I'm choice scarfed or choice banded. Either way, I'm going to outspeed this thing, and choice band means I can take this thing out in one. If I was scarfed, I wouldn't have, and you could have revenge killed me. However, I don't think it would have mattered too much because I could have just simply bought in my uh, Torterra and choice scarf seed, bo seed bombed him because he tricked me the choice scarf earlier. So um, now it's uh, two on one. He's got his Mr. Mime left, but Deku's just going to go down. This thing still outspeeds me, even with a Choice Scarf, because I haven't got any speed investment. And Torterra goes down, so now this is where the battle kind of gets interestingly... It's interesting, but it's also painful to watch. So I trace the Soundproof, which has no relevance whatsoever. He goes for the Psychic. Hax has been on my side this whole battle. That's, that's special defense drop number one. And I was like, oh, you cannot do this, TV game, please. I get the necessary fun the way off. Please bear in mind this was necessary, you will find out. Here I go for the Tri-Attack, I need to find out how, how much it does, it does about, well, it's a 4 hit KO, basically. He gets another, he gets a Psychic off, and he gets another special defense drop, so I'm like, oh no, please, please no. This is where Hypno would have been so much, it would have been so much easier to take this thing on with Hypno. I had to think about that, seriously, replacing the Porygon with Hypno, not because Porygon's bad, just because Hypno could wall things. Uh, special attackers are like... I'm normally psychic types, that's a pretty common specially attacking type, so it could take them. So here I'm just, I'm playing for the paralysis basically. I have to keep recovering until there's paralysis, and basically I have to get him, I, he has to get paralysed three turns in a row for me even to have a chance. So I was, I've been controlling this battle the whole time, the whole time, and these two special defense drops have screwed me over and put me in a corner, and he doesn't, he just keeps breaking through, which is really annoying, and he gets special defense drop number three. So, um, I'm actually quite surprised he didn't run out of Psychics, because he's used it quite a lot already this battle. Um, but I keep recovering up, waiting for that Paralysis, he, he just doesn't get it. He goes for another Psychic, and to be fair, he doesn't get Paralyzed, but he doesn't get any critical hits in these turns. I don't know what the chances of that are, but it, it doesn't happen. Um, finally he gets Paralyzed, and I can fire off a Tri-Attack. So, that, that's good, that's good. He gets Paralyzed again, this, this is it, this is it. I needed one more. The screen freezes there, because I think my computer went to sleep, but he didn't miss anything. Tri-Attack number three. He gets paralyzed again. And that has confirmed the game, because unless he critical hits me, he cannot take Porygon down, and I can take Mr. Mime down from this range of health. So he does break through com uh, confusion paralysis, and does he kill me? No, he doesn't get the critical hit, he just gets a use of special defense drop, because try attack, it's 100 accuracy, and I can take out Mr. Mime for that very close 1 0. -oh. Thank you, Archizzle, for this battle. I learned a lot from it, and I hope you did too. It was an honor to battle you in this tournament. I'm also honoured to represent all of you guys in the grand final of Fu and Pokemon's PU Tourney. So hopefully you guys will come to the stream on Monday. I don't know what time it is. I think it's 9, 9 or, well, between 9 and 10 GMT. So, I don't know, 5 or 6 hours behind in America. What's that? 3 or 4? I don't know. In America. Something like that. Uh, hopefully you guys can come and watch that. Uh, otherwise, I can't really think of much else to say. Other than, oh, and thank you for all the subs, by the way, that came from Archizzle. 
and Fu and everyone else who's new since I last uploaded the battle. It was six days ago, so it's quite a while. But since I started this PE tournament about five weeks ago, I've gained 130, about 130 subscribers. So thank you to all of you for subbing, and also thank you to my old subs, of course, for the continued support. Other than that, this is me, Dumb Fanatic, and I hope to see you around later. Goodbye.